Hello everyone, I'm Jairai, and today I'm just making an update video on a video I did last year about OBS settings. This one in particular is about how I set my, my Rode pod mic with uh, OBS. And I've been getting plenty of questions on how I set my, my pod mic with OBS. And today I'm gonna to be addressing that particular question. I'm not really gonna go into a deep dive on why I set my settings the way they are or why I set my settings, but rather I'm just gonna show you what I do. And if that's fine with you, then you can, you're more than welcome to, you know, copy the settings that I have and use it for your setup or for your microphone. But do keep in mind that my particular settings was meant for the Rode Pod mic and the Scarlett Solo third gen. So if you have a different microphone or um, audio interface setup, this may not work for you as well. And if so, you might have to tweak uh, some settings on your end. I'm only going to be using native OBS filters for my settings. If you have third party programs or VSTs that work better, you should probably use those, but just keep in mind that mine are just gonna be default OBS uh, filters for my microphone. I'm also using the most current version of OBS. So if there's anything that's different or if there's a discrepancy, you should try to update your version of OBS. And if you are using the same microphone as I am and using the same audio interface, please make sure that the microphone is set to mono under advanced audio properties. I also wanna mention that my setup currently has a mic booster that goes before the audio interface. So my signal chain is first a pod mic, then a mic booster, and then my audio interface. The mic booster that I have adds, I think 20, 20, 20 to 25 dB of gain so that I don't have to crank up my audio interface to max. This helps uh, with reducing noise because I don't have to set my gain knob close to max, which, um, which if you do that, there's a lot more noise uh, that gets picked up. And that's why I've added a mic booster. Even though you don't have a mic booster, the built-in noise suppression within OBS is good enough to take out a lot of that noise. And how well that noise gets suppressed depends on which noise suppression settings you use. So please keep that in mind. And with that, we are ready to set our microphone within OBS. And the first thing we're gonna do now is add filters. And the very first filter we're going to add is called noise suppression. Now, if you have um, a really underpowered CPU, you might want to use speaks. For most people who have gaming computers, I think R and N noise is good enough for you. And now we want to add a noise gate. And we can keep these settings as is. The next thing we want to add is a compressor. Now for the ratio, we want to set this to 3. Threshold, we can set it to negative 24. And we can leave the attack and release the default. Now for the output gain, we want to increase this. So right now I am at negative, I'd say negative 20 right now. So let's add 10 dB. Now I should uh, be sounding a little bit louder, but um, I think I want to add a little bit more gain to this. Uh, let's see, let's add, let's add 11. Okay, that should be good. Yeah, I think 11 is good. Uh, I'll just, I'll just park that right there for now. And the next thing I want to add is a limiter. And, and since I like my threshold to be a little bit higher, I want it to take effect at negative 3 db i think that's good now i'm gonna go back to my compressor and add one more db of gain and i think i think i'm hitting the um the limiter right now this is my uh current obs settings i know in the past i've added two compressors and two limiters but i found that adding another limiter and compressor just ends up clipping your entire audio so i got rid of that and just use this setting you're seeing now uh you're free 
to modify these if you want if you want it to be louder or you want it to be lower uh you're more than welcome to play around with it if you want your limiter to be at zero db you can do that i just set it to negative three because um it's what i prefer and you're more than welcome to try any settings you want in here but this is how i like to set things and this is what i currently use uh, for my signal chain hopefully these settings help you guys get the best sound out of your microphone and that's all i have for now thanks for watching bye